cannot wait to tell you guys about my day. But first, I'm gonna show you what I bought at the store. So, we are on a layover right now, and I just went to Whole Foods, and I'm currently on a layover in Charlotte, North Carolina, which is my old base. Um, and I'm on such a fun trip. But, what I got from Whole Foods, vegan jerky. I love this. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite vegan jerky. It's Louisville vegan jerky. I got maple bacon. They also have a Carolina mustard, which felt very fitting since I'm in the Carolinas. But, I decided not to get it because like, these were on sale for like $5.50, but jerky's expensive. So, I also got a wrap for tomorrow. It is a cranberry apple tuna salad wrap and it just sounds oh, delicious because I love I love cranberry with my tuna like I used to order tuna sandwiches with um, cranberry sauce on it at Mr. Pickles it's kind of like the turkey and cranberry but tuna so like it's it's really good together. like trust me it's good to go and then I got oh this I'm opening this right away so I a good cold pressed orange juice it sounded delicious. I went with a girl that I'm flying with and she was like, I'm gonna get fresh squeezed orange juice. And I'm like, that sounds amazing. She's like, I'm gonna get it for the morning. And I'm like, I am gonna chug it when I get back to my room and regret that I didn't get a bigger size. I should have gotten a bigger size. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Okay, next we got a little turmeric vitamin shot because I just really like vitamin shots. I don't know, there was like a worker trying to like put stuff back in the area that I was looking in. So I felt bad like and I didn't want to take forever to pick something out. So this is like literally just the first thing I grabbed. Then their hot bar gets me every single time. I'm piling food and thinking to myself, this is gonna be so expensive as I'm like just piling more food onto my plate. Hold up, let me try to get this out. But man, it looks good, it smells good. So much food, but it's pretty much gonna last me the rest of the night. And probably then. So. Oh my gosh, can I get it out? I'm trying to get it out without tilting it. Because it's kind of heavy, it was like two pounds worth of food. <laughs> um, Here she is. All right, so we have this delicious looking ravioli. It looks so stinking good. It has tomatoes, it has mushrooms. I was just piling it on. I was like, I need this. And then for sides, we have mashed sweet potato and it's like maple glazed squash, something along those lines. But I needed a third item, it looked good. So this is dinner times like five. Anywho, I'm gonna dive in. I'm not even that hungry because I ate a couple hours ago. Oh, I think it's one of those things where I'm actually thirsty and I just think I'm hungry, but I'm really thirsty. Um, but I have a couple bottles of water in the fridge. So I'm probably gonna switch to that to save this treat for a little bit later. But this just smells good. I'm not even hungry. It just, it just looks and smells so good and it's hot and there's no microwave in this room, I'd have to go downstairs for the microwave and I don't wanna do that. So I don't wanna let this get cold until I can at least enjoy it warm. Even though it's probably been sitting in the warmer for like a while, um, but it was pretty full, so it looked pretty fresh. So, oh. oh my gosh, I just wanna stick my face in it. It smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna like dive in, like, Hopefully not literally, but no promises. And eat, and then I'm gonna tell you about my day and about the trip that we're on. Cause it's exciting, it's exciting. For me it's exciting. I hope for you it's exciting, but for me it is. Anyways, I'm gonna eat, bye. This is my current bed situation right now because I am exhausted. Like literally all of my pillows are right there. I ate, I napped, I conquered. <laughs> I ate, I napped, I conquered. So I was trying not to go to sleep until like 
8 and I was hoping like once I was asleep I'd stay asleep but I fell asleep at like 7 10 ish so didn't quite make the 8 and now I'm awake and it's almost midnight oh my gosh it's almost midnight <sighs> this is so good so stinking good so good oh my gosh I might go back in the morning for more so good did I mention it's so good anyways so my fiance David is also a flight attendant and he had never worked the Boeing 777 aircraft before and he kind of wanted to pick up a little bit more hours this month so he picked up a two-day trip where he would fly both the Boeing 787 and the Boeing 777. So he was super excited to work this trip for the first time and that started yesterday. So yesterday, while he was already on his way to his layover hotel in Charlotte, I was just getting home after dropping some packages off to the post office and I got my assignment for the next day and I got a sequence. I like looked at my phone and I'm like, I got a sequence. I never get a sequence the day before. I always get like a wrap or a standby and then I get called for trips off of my wrap or my standby. Never gotten a sequence the day before, like ever. And I've been at this airline for almost four months now. Oh my gosh, it's been four months. It's been four months. Oh, I've been at my new airline for four months now. I've never gotten a sequence the day before. So what I saw on my phone, I had a sequence. I was like, what? And it ended up being the same exact trip that my fiance was on just one day later. I'm just like, no way, no way, <laughs> no way. Uh, Cause not only was that crazy, but also I've never worked the 787 Dreamliner and I've never worked the 777. So I've never worked a wide body aircraft at all. And so my first trip working wide body, I worked both the 787 and the 777 today, both for the first time. And it went well, it went great, it went good. So I am position eight. So I am in the aisle for service in the main cabin. I'm also in charge of briefing my side of the airplane exit rows. So our first leg today, we did the 787 from Chicago to Miami. And then we had a little bit of a sit in Miami and we worked the 777 from Miami to Charlotte. And that is where we are now. We have a long layover. Our pickup time isn't until like 1.30 tomorrow, which is great. But I'm trying to go to sleep early so I can get up early so I can go walk around and do stuff. Cause even though I was based in Charlotte, I've never been to downtown or uptown. like. I've never actually gotten a chance to explore the city. I've always been like in the airport or at an airport hotel. So never got to actually experience Charlotte as a city. Experienced it as a base, not as a city. So, And what's actually really cool about this trip too is that a classmate of mine is also working this trip. He's on the cart with me for service. And it was really exciting because it's both of our first times working wide body and both of us were Charlotte based and both of us transferred to Chicago at the same time. So we ha we bond over that. So it was really cool to be able to work with a classmate. So because I had to drive up for this trip, I left my house at like 2.30 in the morning and only got a couple hours of sleep last night, which is why I got to this hotel and I was so exhausted. I was like, I need to go straight to Whole Foods. I need to go get my dinner because once I sit down, I'm not getting back up. And I knew like tonight was going to be a low key night, which is why I want to get up early so I can do stuff before our pickup tomorrow. So me and a flight attendant that I'm working with went out to Whole Foods and got ourselves some goodies, as you saw, like this delicious orange juice. This was her idea. Chef's kiss. Amazing. So now it's midnight, like I kind of want to go to sleep again, but now I'm up, like, which is why I didn't want to take a nap, because now I'm up. So I am going to work on some stuff on my computer. I have, um, so I have these widgets on my phone. Yeah, so I have these widgets on my phone, like at the bottom here, that are based off of Pinterest. And I like having like a quote one and a picture one. But now that iPhone has these new focus things, like do not disturb, um, but different focuses, I have one called work, 
which is basically like when I'm trying to work on YouTube and my creative outlet. So I have this focus that I made for work. If it'll focus on the focus, come on. Um, and down here, I wanna put like motivational quotes. However, I'm not really finding a whole lot of squared motivational quotes on Pinterest. So I decided I'm gonna make my own. So if you don't follow me on Pinterest, I'm pretty active on Pinterest, but I haven't like put my own content on there yet. But I'm literally just doing it for selfish purposes because I want squared motivational quotes so that I can put it on the widget for my, my work focus. So I'm gonna work on that for the rest of the night. Maybe I'll share some of the ones that I make with you guys. If not, like go on my Pinterest because I'm gonna have supports with all sorts of stuff. Like honestly, I've been pretty active on Pinterest for years and years and years. Like literally I have so many boards that have like thousands and thousands of pins. So go follow me on Pinterest. Okay, anyways, bye. Would you stay till the morning shine? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be if I leave tonight? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Ugh, I did something bad. I slept in my makeup. Ugh, my skin's gonna hate me. Why did this not go? That's good. That's good for hotel coffee. It's pretty good. All right, since I didn't take my makeup off last night, it's time. Let's see what gunk got to hang out on my skin. I literally didn't get a lot of my computer work done for um, Pinterest, but I did read quite a bit, so that wasn't nice and relaxing, especially with a 2 a.m. wake up the day before. Yes, so, you know, yesterday, not even the day before yesterday. Wow, yesterday with my 2 a.m. wake up, I just needed rest. I didn't even get up and do anything today, which sucks because I definitely wanted to go back to Whole Foods, wanted to take a nice little morning stroll, and that just did not happen because my body was just like, nope, we're staying rested. My bad. I want to do like a little bit of morning skincare. Usually I do my skincare at night, even though I know I should do it night and morning, um, but I'm going to do some morning skincare since I slept with my makeup on, so I'm trying to take better care of my skin and not do that. So, but I'm getting better. I'm getting pretty good. I only sleep with my makeup on like every so often where it used to be all of the time. So, and I've been doing my makeup more often because usually like I'll do my makeup maybe like every other day on average and now I do my makeup like almost every single day. I still haven't gotten my new toiletry bag. I need to order that now actually. I should do that before I leave. I'm using my Morphe No Silent Nights palette and I used 
this whole line right here. I've been doing all of these as a line, um, slowly but surely. This is the second to last one that I had to do though. So this is the first time doing that look. And the last one I have to do is this one, but I feel like that's very holiday party vibes and not like work vibes. So I haven't done it quite yet, but I am happy with how this one turned out. Do have to brush some of the excess. Okay, so now I did pretty good. We're at nine minutes that it took to do my makeup, so I am gonna put on some mascara, let it dry before I put on my false lashes. And while I do that, I'm gonna finish packing up my stuff. Okay, looks like. Bye. Fly so much higher, fly.